Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your Five in Five. We'll get you up to speed on five topics in five minutes. CTR is launching a new legislative alert video message system. The first one is for the General Assembly's Planning and Development Committee, which will hold a public hearing on Monday, February 26th, on a bill that would create a buyer's conveyance tax. That bill establishes a pilot program in four communities, Bethany, Bolton, Lyme, and New London. It would allow those communities to impose a buyer's tax of up to 1% on home purchases of more than $150,000. The money collected could then be used by the municipality to purchase or maintain open space. CTR General Counsel Jim Heckman says although this is just a pilot program, CTR opposes the bill. It's a slippery slope that it would open the door for a, a more widespread buyer's conveyance tax and also that any sort of tax on homeowners and the purchase of homes in Connecticut really slows down the economy. CTR will testify against that bill. Look for our legislative alert video indicating what action we may need you to take as well. A new listing status will soon be available here in Connecticut. It's called Coming Soon. Smart MLS plans to launch the Coming Soon status as another option for agents and sellers. It allows a property to be marketed but not shown for up to 14 days when it then becomes active. Agents must have a signed listing agreement with the seller before marketing a property as coming soon. Smart MLS CEO Kathy Elson says coming soon listings can be a benefit. Third party sites already have coming soon status so that information will now be in the MLS and agents won't have to go to that third party site when, they're ask, when their client is asking them to look for one of these properties. Agents need to know that they're working with their seller and they both agree to this status and that they have our listing addendum completed and uploaded to the MLS so that the MLS knows that both have agreed to the status. We'll let you know when Smart MLS launches the coming soon listings. The State Real Estate Commission recently met and confirmed the topics and titles of the next mandatory courses for continuing education. Agency Law Review and Fair Housing 1 and 2 will be delivered in two separate three-hour sessions. The Commission also discussed and expressed concerns about teams, disclosed dual agency, and buyer agency agreement compliance. CTR will provide additional information once more is known about their specific concerns. The National Association of Realtors shortened the cycle for completion of its mandatory code of ethics class. It must now be completed every two years instead of every four years. Realtors are reminded that you must take the code of ethics course before December 31st of this year as part of the current two-year cycle. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act. That act prohibits discrimination in housing based on a list of protected classes. The National Association of Realtors is commemorating the milestone and has a special website set up with all kinds of information and resources that you can use with your company and the public. For more information on the Fair Housing Act and the 50th anniversary, check out the website listed on your screen. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV. Thank <laughs> you.